I don't think he's going to, I think you can probably fly home today, can't you? Um, I thought the performance, certainly away from home for your team this season, and that first goal is the goal of the season. I thought it was an outstanding counter-attack um, for multiple reasons. The come and take by Carl to release Lass early. Lass has really showed us many, many times this year that he could be a really, really good wing-back. He's, he's got outstanding athleticism. And once he stretched it then, um, his pass to Danny was was first class. Uh, Danny's take was class and, and Mide's finish was obviously excellent but it looks a lot straightforward and easier, that, sorry it looks a lot easier and black and white as it is but uh, believe me there's a lot of work goes into it and, and Scott Freud deserves a huge amount of credit for for the goal because we, we work hard on those things and he kind of owns those situations so great team goal and, and huge credit to the coach and staff as well. It didn't hurt you but why was Regan's goal disallowed? We, we were sort of trying to work it out after what, whether it was me day offside? Look I'm just really shaking my head at some it, it's very difficult to to see certain things happen week in week out and and I was really calm for the first 15 games and not saying but there becomes a point where you think you're taking the you know what now and um, they said me day was I think they said he was offside, I don't think he wasn't, and then they said he was impeding the goalkeeper, and he definitely wasn't. The keeper wasn't saving the ball. Well, the bounce was too high. No, it was ridiculous, and uh, and I see goals like that go in every week. I see Cambridge concede a goal a few weeks ago, the exact same goal, in fact, a lot less than that, and, and it was given, there was no problem. Um, just really frustrating. I thought the referee, I really liked the referee, I thought he had a great game today, but stuff like that just makes me so angry, and I've seen it too many times this year. It could have got to your team, but they came out second half and uh, if you were the Plymouth manager, you were upset with how much time that Ben House happened, but you must be delighted with this finish and 12 goals of the season. Uh, yeah, he's been outstanding. I can't comment on what Stephen thinks. Uh, I thought Harry did really well to walk it down the left. Uh, it was a really good ball into Ben. It wasn't just a, a slash cross that found his way. And uh, and I have to say huge credit to Ben. I, I give him a lot of plaudits for, for his... his his qualities in and out possession, but you know he he actually wanted to come off at half time. He was really struggling with fitness and illness, and uh, he said, "Look, I don't want to let you down. I want to go." I said, "Just give me 15 minutes," and then he goes and scores his goal. So a lot of people won't see that, and even myself as the head coach on the side, I had no idea there was anything wrong with him because of his performance. So really pleased for him. He's a top class striker, and you know I feel for Luke Plant, who's just waiting and waiting and waiting, and was excellent when he came on. But when Ben's playing like that every week, you have to understand why he starts, why he plays. And after. I thought Luke did a great job for the team when he came on. And it wasn't like they were your only chances. I mean, you had you know, lots of chances today. Yeah, look, I, I want to be careful what I say. I don't want to turn up. We beat Plymouth away 2-0. We scored two goals. We've had a clean sheet. I thought we thoroughly deserved that. I'd hate to be coming on and saying we should have won by more and it should have been A, B and C. But, you know, uh, probably the only disappointing aspect of our game today was a finishing because we got ourselves into really good moments we just went clin clinical in the final tour. Um, a lot of your player stats will be off the, off the charts but uh, your right wing back stats um, ridiculous is running today uh, yeah an outstanding athlete incredible pro uh, a real uh, he's just a gentleman he's a lovely lovely man got a, a lot of huge amount of respect for lass uh, he's really popular in the group and on top of that he's a really good player um, I don't know who to give credit to. It was we. I can't remember what it was. We played a game a few weeks ago. And it was. It wasn't me. It was one of the staff that said about playing last wing back. So um, I think he could be a really, really good wing back because of his athleticism. And you, and you see when he stretches the pitch for the first goal, he must have done that. I'm going to say ten times today, which is a huge number. Um, he's going from strength to strength. Really pleased. He deserves it. He deserves it. A real control to your team today. Your, your midfield, in terms of numbers, are outmanned, but you didn't notice it. And um, no, we've worked really hard on, on on something specific in midfield. Spent a lot of time in it in the last few weeks. Um, I keep saying Rome wasn't built in a day, but I thought it showed today. I thought it showed against Cheltenham. Um, so we'll continue to do that. And uh, sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. But it's the understanding of knowing what you're trying to do and. And then execute, and we said to the group at half-time, look, whatever happens, if you score a second goal, stick to the process. If you can see the goal, stick to the process. If it's a late goal, stick to the process. And I thought we did that really well tonight. And up into the 50s, 52 level on points with, with last season, with games to come? Uh, yeah, look, I don't care about last season. It's none of my business. I wasn't here. What happens, happened, good or bad or indifferent. We just focus on ourselves, what we're trying to do, what we're trying to achieve. I keep saying it, sticking to the process, understanding what it looks like, how we execute it. And... Um, and just hopefully build on that. 380 
I think just over that we're here today in support. Incredible. Um, I keep saying it's a little bit embarrassing when you keep asking me because I don't want to be a creepy head coach, but it's just phenomenal and, and you can see the connect. I keep saying you see the connection with the players and the fans and uh, and it, it, well, I want to say a huge thank you not just from me but from all the players and all the staff it doesn't go unnoticed um, I think the lad the lads like really really respectful of the fans and what they've given us this year and although we can't tell them I'm saying it on behalf of the players a huge thank you home and away it's been phenomenal and I can honestly say on a lot of the great results that we've had this year we wouldn't have had without the fans